Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will be discussing about some of the terminologies regarding the respiratory volumes. The first term is known as the tidal volume. It is also abbreviated as TV. Now, this is actually the volume of air that can be inspired or expired during a normal respiration process. Now, this actually involves the volume of air involves about 500 milliliters of air. For a normal healthy man, the approximate inspiration or expiration volume is about 6000 to 8000 milliliters of air per minute. The next terminology is known as the inspiratory reserve volume and also abbreviated as IRV. This is basically the volume of air that can be inspired by a forceful inspiration. Now if we try to forcefully inhale air, what is the amount or volume of air that can be inhaled? This is known as IRV or inspiratory reserve volume. This is approximately calculated as 1000 ml to 1100 milliliters of air. The next terminology is known as expiratory reserve volume, ERV abbreviated. Now this is similar to the inspiratory reserve volume, IRV. Here the volume of air that can be expired out or exhaled out by a process of forceful expiration. If we try to forcefully exhale out air, what is the amount of air or volume of air that can be exhaled out? This has been approximately calculated as 1000 milliliters to 1100 milliliters. The next term is known as the residual volume or RV. This is actually the volume of air that is left inside the lungs after a process of forceful expiration, which means if we forcefully try to exhale out air, the amount of or the volume of air that will be left inside the lungs is known as RV or residual volume. This actually amounts to about 1100 milliliters to 1200 milliliters. The next term is known as the inspiratory capacity or IC. Now this is actually the total volume of air that is inspired after a normal expiration, right? Now this is actually IC is equals to the total volume, the tidal volume in addition to that the inspiratory reserve volume. The next respiratory volume is known as the expiratory capacity or EC. Now this is actually the volume of air which is expired after a normal process of inspiration. So this is a total of sum of the tidal volume plus the expiratory reserve volume. The next is known as the functional residual capacity or FRC. Now this is actually the volume of air that is left inside the lungs after a process of normal expiration. This is actually the sum of expiratory reserve volume and the residual volume. Now the next one is known as the vital capacity or VC. This is the volume of air that is inspired after a process of forceful expiration. Now this sums, uh, this is a sum of expiratory reserve volume, the tidal volume and the inspiratory reserve volume. And lastly, it is known as the total lung capacity. This is basically the maximum air that is present inside the lungs after a forceful inspiration. This is a sum of residual volume, expiratory reserve volume, the tidal volume and the inspiratory reserve volume or we can also refer to as the sum of vital capacity and the reserve residual volume. So in this video, we have talked about various terminologies regarding the respiratory volumes. I hope you have understood and like this video. Thank you.